Hello students, today let us solve some word problems based on the concept arithmetic progression from class 10. Let us have the question. On 1st January 2016, Sanika decided to save rupees 10, rupees 11 on second day, rupees 12 on third day. If she decides to save like this, then on 31st December 2016, what would be her total savings? In this question, Sanika starts to save rupees 10, 11, 12, and so on up to 31st December 2016. And she started saving in this way from 1st January 2016. So, in a year, daily she decided to save 1 rupee more than the previous day. The question is, what would be her total in that year? So, here as we can see, we have numbers 10, 11, 12, and so on. All over the year. If we consider these numbers 10, 11, 12, between all consecutive numbers, the difference is a constant. That is, if we add 1 to 10, we get 11. If we add 1 to 11, we get 12. So the common difference amongst all the consecutive numbers is same. So here the common difference between any two consecutive numbers is same. So this is an arithmetic progression as the difference between any two consecutive numbers is same. Now here as we can see, 10 is the first number. So we can take this as the first term that's A. So the first term which is denoted by a letter A is equal to 10. And the common difference that is the difference between any two consecutive numbers is 1. That's why the common difference which is denoted by a letter D is 1 here. Now to find her total savings in a year, we have to find out how many days are there in that particular year. So the year is 2016 which is a leap year and we know that in a leap year there are 366 days. So from 1st January 2016 to 31st of December 2016 there are 366 days as it is a leap year and if it would not be a leap year then the total number of days would be 365 but in this case as 2016 is a leap year that's why the total number of days in that year is 366 days so here we can take the number of days in that particular year which is denoted by a letter n is equal to 366 now this is an arithmetic progression which has the first term common difference and the number of days in that particular year we have to find her total savings in that year that means we have to find the sum of all these numbers so we have the formula for sum of n terms of an ap and the formula is sn is equal to n divided by 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d where n is the total number of terms in given ap a is the first term and d is the common difference so we have to substitute these values to find sum of total numbers so here n is 366 so instead of sn we get s366 is equal to n divided by 2 that is 366 divided by 2 into bracket 2 into a that is 2 into 10 plus n minus 1 that means 366 minus 1 into d and d is 1 that is into 1 here 366 divided by 2 is equal to 183 into bracket 2 into 10 that's 20 plus 366 minus 1 that's 365 into 1 we get 365. So if we add 20 plus 365 we get 385 into 183. So S366 that is equal to 183 into 385 that is 70,455. Therefore, Sanika's total savings in that year will be rupees 70,455. Here, to find this, we have used the formula for the sum of n terms of an AP that is SN.